Hey, it's Dorlene. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm working on a pocket page. So I like to buy these packs and it has different um, types of page pocket page protectors. And this one had three vertical on the bottom and two six by six on the top. I thought that was a really fun um, alignment or pockets, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. I had a lot of vertical photos. This is when we went to a pumpkin patch slash corn maze in town uh, two years ago, well, a year ago, 2021. I really love this really pretty pink, orange, kind of um, a sh a chambray, blue colored fall line, and it's by Simple Stories. And I'll have the details on my blog. If you go to the information box, I'll have a link to my uh, blog direct blog post and um, it'll have any information that you need so basically what i do is i put in my photos where i'm pretty sure i'm going to put them um in, in, in the pockets and then i kind of go from there so i know i needed some six by six pieces of paper so i cut down multiple um pattern papers to fit in those six by six pockets now one thing i did do is i just like a hair off so they're not really six by six it's probably like you know five and um, seven eighths or something like that it might even be bigger than that but just a hair off the side so they slide a little bit easier especially when you're going to put two like either whether it's a, pic a picture and then paper or you know different layers because it gets pretty thick in those pockets so that's just a little tip so whenever i'm using paper coordinating papers now this is not from a pad i actually bought these papers separately um but I, so I, I use as much as I can. So there's a lot of these like four by six or three by four uh, journaling cards, um, you know, title cards, things like that. I try to incorporate those as much as I can. So you'll notice as I'm decorating these little um, pockets, I'll call them, that you'll notice that I, I'm kind of looking at the paper as embellishments, not just as paper. I hope that makes sense. But um so what I, like I said, what I do is I treat each pocket as a layout. So obviously the ones that have just have pictures, like on those bottom vertical ones, I'm not doing anything with them. But what I'm doing here is this um, piece of paper had a bunch of tags. So um, as you notice, some of them have these really cute and they're full and they have pictures and words and all kinds of fun stuff. And then on the other side were just the top where had like pattern paper and I use those a lot. So like I said, I'm going through the paper pack and I love that everything coordinates, coordinates because they are the same paper line. So even though there's a ton of different patterns, they all coordinate. So this is what I'm talking about. So this is a three by four card. And so first I'm putting that picture and I'm gonna use it as a mat. Now I was gonna use that blue, but it's the exact same blue as that I'm nuts about you tag that I'm using. So that's why I'm using this pink polka dot one. And you see how there's green boots on there? I don't have green boots, I have no reason to use those. So that's why I was using it as a mat. So you see how I have that pink acorn paper on top of that uh, blue and pink plaid paper, the blue um, tag with the words. So that's kind of adds like a little bit of a title. And um, and then I mounted it with that pink polka dot paper, which in the, really is a journal card. Hope that all makes sense. But if you're watching, it should make sense. So now I'm working on the other six by six on that same side. I have the one photo. I did trim it down as much as I could. I didn't want to take away, you know, the feet. My son's foot was already out of the photo. So to trim a little bit more of that was okay because I already did not have a full foot. <laughs> Thanks. So of course, as I'm putting this all together, my ATG gun runs out of adhesive. And so I was using um, a liquid adhesive, but I was so new into the the process that I thought I'm not going to use liquid adhesive for the entire thing. So I decided to refill my ATG gun, but normally I do that off screen, but I thought, you know what, I'm going to do it on screen because I don't know about you, but if you have one of these things, every single time I do it, it takes me a minute to figure out what the heck I'm doing. So luckily there is a guide on the circle and I follow the rules or how it's supposed to be. And if you notice, the adhesive was not coming out. So I, what I do is it, I did it really quickly, but I kind of take that full row and just kind of squeeze it a little bit because sometimes the adhesive just needs to get unstuck from the liner and onto the part that's supposed to come off. I hope that makes sense. But you see right here, look at, I did it. Yay. <laughs> so there you go. <laughs> I hope that helped at all. Um, but so I'm using that, my adhesive, adhesive gun because it is a lot easier but you notice right there how I've gotten adhesive all over that paper 
I wasn't too worried about it because I know that photo was going to cover it. But then look at what I do here. I'm such a dork. I put the adhesive on knowing that there's adhesive on that piece of paper. And so, of course, it gets on the photo. And I'm going to take a good, a long time. Actually, I cut a lot of this out. I sped a lot. But I'm really determined to get that adhesive off. I didn't want to reprint the picture. So I'm using my finger. I'm using my little eraser thing. It still doesn't really take it completely off. But the good thing is it really doesn't ruin the picture. So I took another one of those 3 by 4 cards. And I punched out the middle part that says Happy Autumn Days. And I'm just going to use that as an embellishment. So that's my kind of fun tip. You know, I kind of screwed up or I had a really big oops there. And I really kind of saved the day with that one little thing. And around the edges, I think I got enough of the stickiness. So it's not going to affect anything. Because I really didn't want it to like stick in the pocket. And if it did, it really wouldn't have really been that big of a deal. So that side is done. Like I said, I didn't do anything with the photos. There are a lot of times when I'll punch out shapes or put enamel dots or kind of go and do and whatever. But I didn't really want to put a whole lot of thought into it, I guess. So I really love this mustard plaid paper. Oh, it's just so pretty with that pink. Oh, I just love it. But I'm not sure what I'm doing. So again, I'm trying to take one pocket at a time. Like I said, I kind of treat it like a layout, each pocket as a layout. And that really does help. When I first started doing pocket pages, I would look at the entire page and I was so thrown off. I didn't know where to start. It was just like really hard and I didn't ever want to do pocket pages again. And then I kind of thought about it and went, look at in a sense, it's like, well, in this case, it would be five different layouts. So that's how I started treating them. So I really love these tags. And I'm just kind of messing around, like, what do I want to do with them? Where am I going to put them? Um, there is a lot of pattern. But like I mentioned, it's all part of the same line. So in a sense, they all coordinate. All the colors are the same. They're just different patterns. But sometimes you got to kind of say, ooh, that is a lot of patterns. So um, I the photo with my granddaughters with their heads out of the pumpkins, the one I'm playing with right now, you see how I have that four by six card. Now I could have saved that for what it's worth, but I really liked it as a mat again for the photo. So using all the things, right? That's kind of what I was talking about. Um, why not? I'm, I'm kind of getting into this groove where I want to use my paper, use my supplies. I mean, you buy them because you love them, but then they sit in your crop room and you, they don't get used. So um, because I felt like it just needed a little bit of something to separate it, I did mat the photo in white. Matter of fact, this is the only photo that I mat, but I do like the way that looks, especially with that brown. I think it just, it, it, um, it singles it out a little bit and I like that. So that was pretty much all I did with that one on that, um, the other six by six, which I'm playing with. I really wanted to do something with that, um, I'm going to call it a title card. And everything I'm doing, I just, eh, I'm just not sure about it. And as I'm kind of like rummaging through, I say, oh, those pink acorns, those are adorable. So I grabbed one of the cards that had the front part I probably wasn't going to use, which was that random chair. So I just use it right there. And I love the way that looks. Very simple again, but it does add a little something. And then this journaling card I love because it doesn't have the lines, which means I can do it either vertically or horizontally, and it worked perfectly vertically. I just use my pen to draw lines, and that's when I'm going to journal and do pretty much all the journaling for these these two um, sides of this pocket page. Um, I do hope you like this video. If you do, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. I do post two videos a week. One is always scrapbooking, and one is whatever it is I'm creating in the command center, and that could be a number of things. But please check out my YouTube channel. Hit that subscribe button if you're not already a subscriber. But um, here's, I'm, I'm pulling out this little portion again because I feel like there's something I need, which is kind of my go-to. I'm just putting a black line. Now, I don't show you, but when I'm all done and you'll see the pictures, I do decide to add a pumpkin, a critic that I cut out with my Cricut and also some of those um, like small words that you get from the Ranger or Tim Holtz. Um, but you'll see that in the close up. But I do hope you like this. Please make sure you go to my blog, check out the photos and also get more information on um, what I used. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.